Hi, this is BB. Um, uh, I have all my my door is open. My windows are open, and I'm still smelling this thing. It's like it's burning my nose right here. This one, this nostril. It feels almost like I'm inhaling this cooling thing. It's a cooling sensation, but it doesn't smell like menthol crystal or, or anything menthol it's like taking an inhaler or something that's uh like icy hot or something and you take a whiff of it you know you have that cooling almost like wasabi but it does it's not wasabi but it's burning my nose and it's making me feel kind of groggy i don't know what it is now i don't know what they're doing what they intend to do um what whatever they're, they're trying to do or whatever it you know I, I don't know i don't understand why these people are pushing to make people look like drug users it's like it's imperative to their plan it's important that they portray us like we're big heavy drug users because the other things that they're doing are damaging our body. It's damaging our body, our liver, kidneys, spleen, heart, brain, nostrils. And it's consistent with drug use and heavy alcohol abuse. I don't drink alcohol, so that's not going to be a thing. But they're using things. They, they have probably hacked in. They've probably seen things that how people what the, what uh, what an ME would look for if they do an autopsy what they what areas they look for what what they look for what they deem as suspicious what they deem as not suspicious they know these things so they did their research this is called organized crime this is organized crime but this is really organized crime this is not picking up a few boxes that fell off a truck this is worse than the mafiosi. This is the human beings are targets for these people. I don't know if they're trying what 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 the moral goal what in what their their definition of morality is or what they're trying to do. But they this woman is gung ho, gung ho. Now I don't know if she did her research or she's paying somebody to tell her what to do. I don't know. I didn't think that she's capable of it, but maybe she is. See, in my case, I know who the voice is in my head. I know who the one is talking to me. I know who the one I was around. Now, if this is not pure psychic energy, which I know, I, I'm not sure that psychics uh, can, can work this way. A psychic will latch on to your energy, yes, and they will read a few thoughts on what your thoughts are towards something or someone. And that's it. But to make you listen to them and have a convo with them, I don't think that that is going to be uh, possible. So I don't know what kind of psychic she might be. I don't know. She's got to be like super psychic to the point of wizardry. Like she trained at Hogwarts or something. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand that. But what I'm saying is... I don't understand what if, if there's any moral aspect to this, which I doubt, completely doubt there's any moral aspect to this. It's straight up what? They're making, a, it's not just stealing from the person either. They probably stole from a lot of people, <clears throat> from a lot of people. I mean, I don't know what it is. It stole, I, I mean, it, take your pick. It could be any number of things. It stole from a lot of people, attached it to my name, or whatever, um, and, and then they just have to do away with me because something, maybe there's life insurance, maybe there's uh, my, 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 my inheritance from my dad, uh, which part of that I earned, um, maybe my grandma's stamps. I, I'm not sure, or there's some crime that they committed which can be linked directly back to them that if I find out about it, I will know that somebody did it. That I was not the one who, had, you know, orchestrated it or had anything to do with it. But I do recall I was living next door to these people. I'm not sure. That's in California. I'm not sure. So, what I'm saying is, I 
don't know what what the moral aspect of this is what you know what what this is all about but what i'm saying is that they're doing these things and i know most of you have already figured this out but i'm just trying to find my sea legs around this i don't know what it is everything they do is they're, they're trying to portray us as drug dealer i'm um, not dr drug users or maybe dealers too who knows drug users and of a very high caliber like the complete drug users to the point where you look, look at, you're just looking for the next high you're just looking for the next high you'll you'll you'll, you'll, you'll use anything uh, i completely abhor drugs and the use of drugs i completely abhor the use of drugs i'm not even a weed smoker i just think it's tedious and it drags you down it just makes you disassociated from life and that's not my style that's just me of course i'm entitled to my own opinion that's for my body, how my body would react to it, to, to weed. I have never used anything past weed. I, I, I'm not a drug user. I just don't have any interest in it. I've looked at the aftermath of drug using and it's not pretty to me and I don't want to be that way. So, why would they do this? Why, why is it that they're so important to their plans that they, they deem us like drug users? Because the areas of the body that they're attacking with these microwaving or whatever the fuck they're doing, you know, um, is the head, the brain, thought process, forgetful, memory lapses, can't remember, uh, looking sleepy, tired all the time. This is why they keep us awake. Because when, you, when you're using drugs, it looks like you're wired all the time. You can't sleep. You have these completely dark circles. I mean, what, what I'm describing is consistent with heavy drug use. And this is what they're going for, even if they have to physically get there and facilitate it. Because it's not happening. It's not happening on its own. Because you know why? If we were like them, we wouldn't have anything for them to steal, would we? If we were like them, we wouldn't have anything for them to steal. No, -uh. But since we're not like them, we have shit, we have assets, we have stuff, it gives them an incentive to steal. Because if we were like them, we wouldn't have anything at all. We would have completely uh, gone through all of it and be just looking for the next fix. I, I don't understand what breed of criminal this is. I don't understand what... Um, What's in their minds, what their motivation is, what their goal is, what their end result is, and what prompted this whole behavior in the first place. I mean, this is just, I guess, it's just too much. But it's not just happening to me, it's happening to a lot of people. Because you look at it, everything they're doing is geared for, for heart, heart failure, heart attack, stroke, um, your head, your memory. Memory lapses, forgetfulness, and <clears throat> probably an aneurysm in your head, in your brain, for blood clots, liver, spleen, kidney. These are the things they want. Prostate cancer, uh, 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 uterine cancer, these are the things they're going for. Radiation. So it's like, what, what are they trying to do? They're trying to portray us like we're using drugs. This is why these areas are affected. These areas are affected. So it's like we pass on the radar. Oh, they're drug users. They're drug users. They don't, you know, just make a small incision and they're done. They just look at the liver and they're done. The liver is damaged. Okay, they're done. They're gone. Don't look past that. So. How many people have they done this to? And how, how long have they been getting away with this? I don't know. What I do know is that they're getting worse and worse and worse. And the, the government needs to start listening to us. They need to start listening to us. They need to start listening to us. They need to. This is not fair. It's not fair. So, help me out here give me some ideas on how to combat this i don't want to be a targeted individual you don't want to be a targeted individual it's not our thing it's not our scene i want to be happy i want to be free i want this to, to, to just leave i want the people caught or just go away 
what's happening? I need help. I need practical solutions. What can we do? I don't want to be a targeted individual. What can we do here? Help me out here.